makes me happy. <laughs> so what I thought we'd do is I'll bring Rick up and we'll start out just letting you call out whatever cards are your favorite cards and we'll read whatever cards those are. And then if you run out, I, I brought a red card deck and a blue card deck. And we'll just deal ourselves a hand and then just deal with the hand that we dealt with. <laughs> so, and if you have any other introductory remarks, uh, just <clears throat> this is the second of, uh, second volume of our co collaboration. Uh, all these poems were more or less built by first word, last word. I would send the poem to David. He would use the last word of my poem for his first word. And the first book was pretty linear that way. This time, we just threw it open. Uh, so all of these poems actually had an, its origin in somebody's previous poem. So that's how it worked. But then we threw them up and, and did what we did. Uh, hearts, spades, uh, clubs, and diamonds have different meanings. Helga decided that these are hearts and these are clubs, because we didn't write them that way, but I just let her pick these are diamonds and whatever. And so that's what we did. And, uh, this was fun to do. We'll see how much fun it is. Chris Doc Davis yes. of Alpaw Press designed it, and every card is like a poster. Mm -hmm. So I want to get a game room and make them all poster size. Because mm -hmm. he did a brilliant designing job. So it's a and so, yes, many of these poems, uh, because of the design, uh, I sometimes write long. So a lot of these poems are edited from the original uh, because we had to fit a poem to a card. So no poem goes to, there's no two page ace of clubs. So they're all, they all fit on a single card. So that's how that works. So uh, call out a card. Ace of hearts. Ace of hearts, well that's easy. <laughs> will you let, will you let me Will you let me in? I am no pioneer. I have nothing new, but I see you shining. My hands are open. They could be any hands, but they are these hands. Here, they will help you build a garden, or a wall, or a hill of stone, stones. We can marry, if you like. I was a paper boy, I was a clerk, I was afraid. Wash the floors, paint the ceilings, put the clothes away. It is or it is not my choice. The light has its way with me. You said it was always so, and home. No, no, no pause until we hand is over and you declare you're a winner. <laughs> uh, like our president does. Go ahead. Ace of hearts. Loneliness arrows from the quiver of shame. Loneliness toothache got no one to blame. Water flows downhill. Every dog has its day. Talk to me, Martha. I got nothing to say. Loneliness vibration like a blue song in G. Loneliness vacation somewhere by the sea. She left without looking over her shoulder at me. Every glass in my cabinet is broken. Loneliness follows like a shadow at dawn. Loneliness flows like a cat's hollow moan. I flicker like a candle whose wick needs more flame. I fall down when I'm finished, erasing my name. Loneliness is friendly when I'm looking away. Loneliness drinks me. When I'm thirsty, it's rain. Loneliness sold me like a slave for distraction, tied me to limbo like a fetus in traction. My favorite enemy, my meanest friend. Loneliness is a horse race on a Mobius strip, a funny sort of horse race that nobody wins. It has no ending and it never begins. Card? Pick a card, any card. Jack, Jack Spades. Jack of spades. That is weird. <laughs> if you Google these, you know, like Jack of spades, it'll come out like there's 
meanings for every card. Green to yellow, never be lonely. This wonderful echoes. Desert wind speaking through the tight-lipped window. You are not King Lear, not the memorized lines, nor the pages written by his or her hand, the rosaries counted. Bless me, now and at the hour of the light. My shoulders pressed to the wheels of heaven. Water will become you, root-seeking center. Point to infinity, a wave, enfolded rose, raven, perch on Joshua Tree. What else is life? Japanese wanderer bows, told the well is dry, grateful for a well, for someone to say the well is dry, to speak of bows, to look beyond his emptiness to an emptiness of time and place, color, rhythm, questions, answers. How do you want to flow? Fire is the light I hold in my heart, the torch I burn in my brain, the dancing of my tongue of flame, and the words that come from some place. These thoughts always a conflagration of sense and nonsense, sorted out by other senses, fed by input, then finding output, and ultimately flames and fire and flames every day, burning me up, back to the sky, back to the stars, all invisible. Fierce, fiery furnace of life, I want a Viking burial. Take a card. Ten of diamonds. Ten of diamonds. One, 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 alone. Who then am I talking to? I see you taking making a mental note. Three, then later the cat shows up, its eyes closed like some blinded refugee in need of a passport. A photograph like any black cat will do. Okay, you say, how much is the fare to Paris? The cat yawns and wanders off. You thinking, I used to like trains. The walls should be red, at least one of them. I flew to Paris in my dream and saw the lights reflected on the glistening rain-soaked streets and the tiny cars zooming through the sidewalk swift as fish, an eccentric sort of existential. I thought maybe it all looked like a dream. Pick card, pick card. Two clubs. Two clubs. Shouldn't we be giving them a straight? <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> yeah. right. right. I do not know what trees recognize, though I have read the secret life of plants. The horses across the road know me by my apples. The cats by the slow stroke of my hand. The sound of the can popping. The meaning of angels is that they are angels and nothing more. Nature means nature. James Hillman said that though he is no angel, I cannot even know that. I know in this moment he is dead, no longer able to move his lips, to shake my hand were I to meet him at an airport tomorrow, a tomorrow that is not yet and so is not here as he is not here, though different. Past and future, dead is dead and yet not. The cat paws at my hand, wanting my hand on its head. Or well, that is what I guess, since it purrs when I do, and perhaps purring means yes. Yes means this is the spot. This is where I want time to linger. Neither coming, nor going, nor needing to know the proof of being a cat or a paw or a tree, or me sitting on a couch, stroking the head of a cat, thinking of a long dirt road lined with blossoming apple trees. Can I end with that?
to a club. Nowhere is everywhere. Everywhere is somewhere else, but not here, obviously. Everywhere was here, but I am nowhere to be found. I was here, and I ate everywhere for breakfast, so I have to go lie down. <laughs> if I had everywhere, would I still want everything? If I had everything, I would need to put it everywhere, all over the place. I think everywhere could be overrated, like mixing every color of paint. I might rather have everywhere than nowhere, but nowhere is so much easier to clean. If I had nowhere, it wouldn't mean I was no one. If I had nowhere, I would be someone to be reckoned with. If I had everywhere, it could be a really big headache and get out of hand. If I were no one and lived everywhere, that might be okay as long as I kept moving and didn't own anything. If I were someone and lived nowhere, well actually that would be impossible. <laughs> Those are the two concluding, concluding poems of each of our sections.